Hi guys, today I am going to demonstrate the steps for configuring the ESP32 VROOM module and also I am going to demonstrate how the program is uploaded to this ESP32 and from there how the data is uploaded to Thingspeak server using a simple program and a simple configuration steps will be explained in this video. Let us start with before going into configuration and other details, let us understand the difference between ESP32 and Node MCU. So the Node MCU also has Wi-Fi module and it has digital pins, analog pin, everything. But the difference between ESP32 and Node MCU, the major difference is in Node MCU we have only one analog pin. So if you have many analog sensors to be connected and data to be uploaded to the Thingspeak server so which is not possible in the node MCU we have to use different steps multiplexer something like that but here we have many analog sensor uh, pins so that directly we can connect analog sensors to this ESP32 and we can upload the data to the Thingspeak server. This is one major difference and apart from that there are a lot of uh, other uh, differences. For me I need a lot of uh, analog pins and a lot of analog sensors need to be connected and the data has to be uploaded to the Thingspeak server. So I prefer ESP32 over Node MCU. So this is one difference and there are other few differences as well. So if you go to the data sheet of this ESP32 we can see the other differences. So I choose ESP32 for this reason. So I need a more analog pins or analog inputs and output pins. So here you can see in this picture. So how many analog pins are there for the ESP32 W uh, room 32. So we have approximately 15 analog pins which can be used as a digital as well as uh, analog pins. So for me, uh, I can use these 15 pins for my analog uh, data to be uh, taken and processed and it, 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 uh, to upload the data to the Thingspeak and also to take uh, decisions. So how to configure this uh, device? So I have ESP32 module in my hand. So you can see this is my ESP32 uh, module, so which I have connected to the laptop and I have to open the Arduino IDE. First I need to go to the files, go to the preferences. Once you click this preferences, then you get a pop-up window like this where you will type or you will paste this uh, link that is HTTPS expressive dot github.io this uh, line you have to copy and put it here once you paste this link you can save this once you save this one then the next step go to the tools go to board and board manager and click this board manager you will get this pop up type here esp32 when you type ESP32, you will get the ESP32 libraries express if system. This is what I am going to use. So I will install this. Since I have already installed it, I can update this one. So once you update or install this, these boards that is ESP32 boards will be added to your Arduino IDE. Once it is added, then you can go to the board and choose ESP32 W room or whatever the model you have. So maybe you have ESP32 Dev model or something like that or um, other boards. So choose the board accordingly. So I have ESP32 W room DA module. So I choose this. Once I choose this board, then go to the port, choose the port where it is connected. So that port, we choose it then you can upload the program to the Arduino. So once the compilation is done, the program will be uploaded. So this is a simple code I have here. 
so which has lot of header files so wifi.h secrets.h and include thingspeak.h so i am going to upload the data to thingspeak so i have included thingspeak also here so here uh, you have to enter your uh, ssid and password for your wifi router and then you have to uh, write your channel id here so in the thingspeak and the api key for your channel once you written all these things then it will go to setup so serial begin so this is the baud rate chosen baud rate and uh, so initialize the things pick then in the loop it is going to check whether the wifi is connected or not connected once it is connected it is going to print the data so where it is going to print it is going to print the data in channel number this channel number and it is going to be field number 1 so i have to write this api key and everything so since the api key is already given there directly it will come over here the number also will come from there the channel number also may come from the program which we have written uh, i have shown in the previous slide so once this is done so it will go to the that particular thing speak uh, site and it will upload the data there so what is the data it is going to upload it is going to upload this value number so this is the data which is going to be uploaded so i have given some uh, numbers here so this number will be uploaded here so this is what a simple program for uploading the program so let us see how uh, things happen in reality so i have a arduino ide and the program is available here this program i am going to upload it to my esp32 so that it is going to upload the data as per the program so go to tools and uh, ensure that you have a esp32 here and the port is being selected so once it is there just upload the code first it will do the compilation once compiling is done then it will upload the program to esp32 module it's taking compilation you can see the status of compilation here so if you have any error so it may show in this window if you don't have error so it will go to the uploading stage so it takes bit more time for uh, compiling so compilation is done now it is connecting and uploading the data to esp32 module yeah so in this program you can see that the uh, you know the sensor is connected to pin number 34 and uh, so this data is going to be uploaded to thingspeak so let us see the thingspeak server so here you can see this is my channel in the thingspeak so you can see the data which is uploaded less than a minute ago the data is uploaded you can see here so the value is big so i will change this value to So you can see the value uh, actually i have not connected the potentiometer here now so that's why it is taking a random number so if i connected the potentiometer to this particular pin so it will take the exact value of that potentiometer and it will upload the data in the thing speak hope everything is clear with this uh, esp32 configuration and uploading the data to things speak if you have any doubts please let me know in the chat box i am free to explain you and uh, if your, your doubts can be clarified. Thank you. Thank you so much.